My first encounter was when I was uh, just a young kid. I was about uh, six, seven years old. You'd hear footsteps just about any night of the week. You'd hear uh, cabinet doors slamming shut. Um, you'd uh, hear voices out in the backyard. Cold breezes would come out of the closet. Michael Baker is talking about his childhood home. These experiences turned him into a modern-day ghostbuster. He has created Para-Boston Investigators. It is a group of paranormal investigators who identify and explain ghosts, spirits, and any other supernatural activity. If, if you go out looking for a ghost, you're going to find one. And um, because everything, every noise, every little creak, you're going to label it very quickly. So I try very hard to clear my mind completely so I go there with a fresh perspective. If you define paranormal, it means unexplainable. And we're just trying to find answers uh, regardless of what it is. It could be uh, afterlife. It could be uh, a fourth dimension. Uh, it could be any sort of whatever. I mean, it's unexplainable. It's paranormal. Para Boston is passionate about exploring unnatural phenomena. But Heidi and Bart Smith think that some ghost stories are just that, stories. And a lot, of, a lot of times, local legend is more of advertisement than anything. People like, uh, you know, they, they, they tell these stories and things get built, and it's to draw people in. Like most of Salem, you know, the old witch le legends and everything, I think that's kind of a tourist trap more than anything. Salem is known as a supernatural city. Tour guide Dan Fury also believes that not all ghost stories are true. For me, ghost stories are, are so subjective. Ghost stories, it's, it's, you have to kind of take, some, take them with a grain of salt sometimes um, because a lot of times it's just imagination. But uh, I'm definitely a strong belief in there being spiritual presences around us and sometimes they make themselves known, sometimes we just catch a glimpse of them. You might be able to catch a glimpse of ghosts in Salem, Lexington, George's Island, and even right here in Boston. This is Enid Kahlo for WEBN.